Hello everyone, we are back on Clash Royale today and we will be playing this giant sparky minion horde deck. It was a request from a viewer, not this specific deck, but the request was to play a giant sparky minion horde deck and I think this is the best one. Uh, and this is probably the best deck without evolutions. I know there is Evo Bats, so probably I will play Evo Bats, you know, it, it makes the deck better. Uh, but even without evolutions, this is probably one of the only decks with Lumberloon Freeze probably, like those are the only two decks that actually work uh, without evolution. So if you want to give it a try, give it a try. Uh, we'll be jumping straight into the first game today uh, against King Williamson, who starts off with the Noob with a Plan emote. That's cool. Uh, Royal Giant, okay. Um, this is the start of the season. I played a few games already today. Um, I was trying to unlock the new King Tower chest, I don't know if you know about it, but basically it should contain the new Princess Tower, like the Cannoneer. I wanted to unlock it so that I could make a video about it. I unlocked two of those chests, I used all my keys, the ones that you used to unlock the chests immediately, I never used them. I used them today for the first time. and. I unlocked two of those chests, uh, this guy can shut up. I unlocked two of those chests that should have contained cannoneers, but I only found princesses, like... What even is that? Like, do I really have to pay... How much is it? 100 bucks or whatever? Just to unlock a stupid cannoneer, which is not even good. I mean, I, I saw a tweet by Birat earlier saying that the game is literally... Not, not even pay to win, it's pay to play. <laughs> like, what, what has even a Clash Royale come to? That's like... I, I don't know, man. They are doing something. I, I don't know what they are doing. It's definitely something. Um, okay. The, the Robin is winning. He's not playing particularly well. He's just doing his stuff. Very nice miner. Sparky will get a lot of volume. Just kidding. But he used that zap though. Um, he has fireball, freeze zap, RG, barbs, goblins, miner. That's a weird deck, I, I, I have to say. Let me go for minion horde. Okay, and I will go for bats now. He will go for. Oh, solid arrows! Solid arrows! Let's go! Okay, we managed to take the tower. Um, that's great. Let me go for Sparky Low. He just used that zap, so... Okay, I mean, that's okay. I think I can... Hear me out. He just wasted his zap. I must say, I don't really appreciate him having three spells or something. Definitely doesn't make it easier. Uh, we are going for the three crown, I guess? I mean, it works. Okay, Miner. That's still gonna connect if he doesn't do anything. Just like that! Thank you, King Williamson! I mean, <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's use the Z Flip, Samsung Z Flip emote. That's a cool collab, though, gotta say. Clash Royale messes up a lot of stuff, but the collabs they did recently, the one with Chess.com and the one with Samsung, pretty cool, not gonna lie. I wish they put the same effort in the game as they are putting into collaborations. Here we go, Firecracker. This deck is great because it has arrows and zap, so you can take care of Evo Firecracker without any issues. Also, I'm about to sneeze. I don't know, maybe it will come later. <laughs> okay. We managed to tank for the Sparky with the Flying Machine. I cannot really play Minion Horde here because... <coughs> Fuck's sake. It came out though. Um, yeah, Giant is not gonna do a lot there. Maybe I should have went for Minion Horde there and just <coughs> hey, ignore the Giant. Um, minion, Minion Peck, Mini Peck. I guess a shot. That's that's nice. I don't really want to waste my Sparky, so I will go for Skarmy on the bridge. If he wants to play E Giant on the bridge to take care of it, I'm fine with it. He goes for Firecracker. Very good Firecracker. 
we have King Tower on right from the start, which is great because uh, we are able to get the help from the King Tower, which is really appreciated here. I'm gonna go for Minion Horde here. I just didn't really want to play anything else on that Firecracker. Just let it get damage. Who cares? Okay, now I can go for Mini P.E.K.K.A. He's very low. I think he must be at 3 or something, so I don't think he's gonna do anything here. Yep. I will do something like this. So he has to take care of the Sparky anyways. Uh, waste more Elixir. Okay, he still takes a huge Sparky shot on the tower. I need, to, I, need, I need to think now what to do. I will think I'll do something like this, this, this. Over this, and this. Ah, Valk. Oh, I forgot about it. And it's still okay, I think. Uh, okay, let me go for Spark in this lane. I will zap the bats if it's needed. Sure, why not? Uh, awful lightning. I mean, definitely not gonna complain here. Now just go all in, I guess. Mini Pekka is gonna get distracted. Go for arrows on the firecracker, and I think it's over. We get another dub. As I said, this deck is really solid. I kind of suck at playing it because I just struggle to play decks that have a lot of bait cards like Skarmy, Minion Horde, Sparky. Like you need to be very good at keeping track of your opponent's head, not your opponent's head, <laughs> your opponent's hand, and just knowing when you can play Minion Horde without getting punished for it. I love people. My minions just split, which makes everything worse. Uh, yeah, people just going for Hog Rider Prince's first play. I mean, it's not even a good push. I can understand Hog Rider Ice Spirit, Hog Rider Goblins, whatever. But really, Hog Rider Princess? That's the best you can do, man. <laughs> I mean, okay. Yeah, so if you're good at keeping track of your opponent cycle, and you feel comfortable playing this kind of bait decks, definitely give it a try, it's a solid deck. If you look at the leaderboards of uh, the best performing decks, Sparky Splash on two Goblins, they're huge. Uh, if you look at the leaderboards of the best performing decks without evolutions in top 1k at season end, you will see this deck pretty often. I will go for Minion Horde, I think it's the play, take care of the Princess, or out something. Good barbs? I think. He still takes out of damage, but Phoenix is kinda good against minions because it gets that death damage with knockback, which is actually really solid against minions. But we still get a huge advantage here. What is this game? What are you even doing, man? Why? It's not even a good push! Now now he's doesn't have elixir to defend this. The princess is gonna die from the mini Pekka. Mini Pekka doesn't connect, but he's so low. What, what is it? I'm not even gonna try to understand, man. Like, I... <laughs> what, 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 what do I even have to say? <laughs> and he goes for a goblin barrel again. Man, it doesn't work, <laughs> for fuck's sake. It doesn't work. If you go for giant, minion horde, he's at like seven right now, and I have a 20 elixir push. Yeah, sure, log is definitely the play. Bomber, he just lost. He's doing everything he can to lose. <laughs> he just got decided to sacrifice the evil barbs. He transformed into Gotham Chess uh, and thought that his evil barbs are a rook and decided to sacrifice them. Another win! Is it three three crowns in a row? I don't remember. I mean, there is definitely two three crowns. I will check. One, two. Yep. <laughs> three three crowns. I will play another one in that case, you know. Just play one more game, let's see if we can win. Uh, I haven't even reached Ultimate Champion the previous season, someone even mentioned it in the comments. I just didn't really feel like playing. I was busy with moving, and I was also really not motivated to play with level 15. I know I have some level 15 cards, but I don't have one deck maxed out, which is like... Pushing without a fully maxed deck is really not satisfying. 
you just feel very discouraged because you end up losing because of levels and this is just very 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 demotivating i can only imagine people that play with even lower levels like some could say that i'm a bitch for complaining when i have some level 15 cards and yeah and other than and i also have level every card at level 14 so i still have good levels but still when you try to push to very high trophies something like um top 1k you cannot really make it i mean you can there is people that push with level 12 accounts i'm just saying it's really hard and is you just put in so much effort and effort and you end up losing because of levels and you just get demotivated so i really didn't want to push last season i didn't feel like it um yeah let's see how this season goes i'm not making plans for now i'm already in league 5 which was definitely not something i did last season i didn't push till the last days basically and also this month here i'm not really pushing so um Wait, 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 wait. Evil Bats, Sparky, Evil Bats, Sparky. Another shot? Holy crap! That was great. Uh, what do I do here, though? Let me go for Mini P.E.K.K.A. Arrows, Skarmy. One Goblin stop, that's okay. Um, I think we won again. I mean, in 40... Tank, 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 tank! I'm slow. Ugh. Good enough. Tap this. Go for this. He will go for barrel. Like, he will just keep spamming the whole, like, remaining 30 seconds of the match because that's the only thing a bait player can do, to be honest. So, yeah, I think that's over. Uh, unless he pulls some crazy play on me, which I'm not expecting, to be honest. Um... Let's go for minion horde, army from the back. Zap. And that's GG. We didn't get a 3 crown in this last game, but that was not a fun matchup. Playing against uh, a deck with Princess and Dart Goblin, as well as Inferno Tower, is definitely not good. I don't know if he had Rocket, though. If he didn't have Rocket, this was a little easier for us. Yeah, he didn't, but still, very annoying matchup. Even though we had Zap, Arrows, but yeah. Very, very solid deck, as you can see. If you hate Firecracker, it's perfect because you have arrows and zaps, so you don't need anything else. And not, not showing sure Giggle, you didn't see anything. Um, so yeah, this will be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any decks you would like me to play, make sure to let me know. And... Uh, yeah, this there, there will be a few more videos with the face cam in the next um, few weeks, I would say. Not really sure for how long. If I see that people enjoy them, I guess I will keep going for as long as people enjoy them. If I see that people don't like them because, you know, there is this weird um, layout where it's not full screen with Clash Royale. If people don't like it, I will go back to making <laughs> videos without the webcam and we'll keep the face cam only for live streams, for example. So make sure to let me know, give me some feedback. And for now, yeah, this is all. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care and goodbye.